How to get started in game development. Hardware. When you're first getting into game development, you don't need the most powerful computer. Many inexpensive desktops or laptops will be enough to run many of the applications you'll need to get started. In fact, we often advise new or potential game developers not to spend all their money on the front end investing in hardware or high-priced equipment. The main reason for this is it's important to first invest your time and energy so you can see if game development or which aspect of game development is right for you. As time progresses and your skills and work get more advanced to the point you've outgrown your current hardware, buying more expensive equipment, computers, or parts is far more justified than buying them on the front end. One of the first questions you'll need to ask and answer is whether you want to make 2D or 3D games. Regardless of the type of game you'd like to make, when first starting out, the barrier for entry is fairly low. You certainly don't need anything fancier or more costly than the average gaming PC, and depending on the nature of your project, you can get away with much, much less. In fact, in many cases, you can simply get away with using a laptop with an integrated graphics processor and a single or dual core CPU. Keep in mind, in most cases, the required specs of your machine totally depend on the type of game you want to make and the engine you work with. That being said, we've broken down the hardware into two different PC builds. The first is a cheaper machine, mainly for the purpose of developing 2D games using Unity, Game Maker, or a 2D game engine. The second is a PC built mainly for 3D development in Unity or Unreal Engine. And while a beefed up PC with 32 gigs of RAM, an Intel Xeon Gold, and an NVIDIA Quadro GV100 may make you feel like an unstoppable game development king, it takes more than great hardware to make a great game. Unity 2019 and Game Maker's minimum system requirements are Windows 7 64-bit or higher, a CPU with a 64-bit or x64 architecture, and a graphics processor or card that is DX12 capable, such as an NVIDIA GeForce GT 1030 or AMD Radeon Vega, which you can purchase for well under $100. Unreal Engine's minimum recommended system requirements are Windows 7 64-bit or higher, a quad-core Intel or AMD processor, 2.5 gigahertz or faster, NVIDIA GeForce 470 GTX or AMD Radeon 6870 HD series card or higher, and 8 gigs of RAM. So even if you plan on developing high-end 3D games with Unreal, you can purchase a computer for less than what you'd pay for a PlayStation 5. First and foremost, remember, in this day and age, game development is possible on basically any PC or laptop. Some more advice would be, Buy the best GPU or graphics card you can afford. Don't upgrade your CPU every generation, and anything more than 16 gigs of RAM starting out is probably overkill. Keep in mind, the hardware doesn't make the game, and even without any hardware to work on, you can still begin your journey into game development. And while it may prevent you from practicing some of the things you've learned, things such as game design and game theory can be learned and practiced with nothing more than a pen and paper. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification so you can be the first to see our latest video.